shopping warehouse now. It's early in the morning, I think. It's like 11, <laughs> 10, 11, I don't know what time it is. But um, for me to be out and about, it's 10.30, ooh, that's early for me. Well, but then again, I've been awake since uh, six, so I guess it's not early. But um, I keep trying to make this video in the clothing warehouse, but the camera keeps not working and people keep asking me to show them what it looks like in there because it's where I get all my clothes from and uh, it's so cheap. So I'm gonna try and what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna stop the camera and try to turn it on slickly inside the clothing warehouse so that way um, it will adjust to the different light because what's happening is it's not adjusting to the light and so it's not showing anything. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to do vertical video as well because you're not allowed to video in there. I don't know why. And so if I'm there holding my phone sideways, it's going to it's gonna be very obvious. Whereas if I have my phone upright, I can just pretend I'm texting and walk around and, and video for you guys. So I'm going to try to do that. I get really embarrassed and I go in and people usually stare at me as well. So um, I will definitely give it a good shot this time for once. And so I will check back in about, well, it doesn't matter how many minutes because you guys won't exactly know, but I will check back when I'm inside and see if I can get it to work this time. And fingers crossed that I find some awesome finds again because I've been getting really lucky with clothes and makeup and things so far. So I don't think I'll find anything because I have been there just recently, but you never know. So. Fingers crossed I find something and then after that I'm gonna watch Deadpool again so that'll be awesome and I will see you in a couple of minutes. Oh, bumpy. This is the outside of the clothing warehouse building. I took my seatbelt off so it's bitching. Um, so you can see it's quite big. We're like there you stupid car. Uh, it used to be the $2 clothing warehouse store, now it's $3, but it's all this here, so fingers crossed I'll get a good video of the inside. I don't actually know, it's not the whole building that you can walk around inside, it's only part of it, so I don't really know what the rest of the building is. Uh, they only use a portion of it, but it's still a good size. They move the sleepwear. Switch today and experience My Republic Broadband. T's and C's apply. Ooh, a bassinet. I wonder how much that is. Oops, did I just take a picture? My key is not for my doll. Maybe if it worked. I'll have to come back and look at it when I have two free hands. I have a lot of stuff in here today. Like that. Oh, unicorns.
right, so we're leaving the clothing warehouse now. And I thought I wasn't gonna find anything, but I found two bags of stuff. Cost me $24. Oh, I look a mess. Um, it's pretty awesome because, uh, well, I got like a uh, uh, porcelain doll, a bride doll to paint, and I got a storybook and uh, um, some onesies. I got another onesie with a butt flap and it's got little ducks on it. And I got Dorian a, a red onesie. Um, it's Elmo, but it's missing an eye. I figure he'll, he'll probably like it more because of that. And um, and then I only found two outfits because actually like the huge pile of outfits I had today were too big on me, like a size 10, size 12, size 14. They were floating on me. And um, what I got, I got this kind of another 50s style dress, though it's not a 50s brand. And that size extra small. And that one was quite cool looking. I really like that. Uh, it's got a pink stripe on the bottom. I'll put a picture or the, make a video of it or something like that. And then I got a size small um, high-waisted pencil skirt, which is quite nice looking. It's, uh, you know, high-waisted, so it's, of course, like, up here and it's got straps but it's not the ones that everybody's wearing nowadays and uh it's quite slimming and i just i couldn't believe that a size small and an extra small fit just goes to show you how fucked up sizes are because at the same time i tried on two things that were size 10 well one thing that was a size 10 and it was too small and then i tried on something that was a size 12 and it was too small and a size 10 pant or shorts, high waisted shorts, those would have closed, but it would have totally muffin topped me. But at home, I have size 10 pants and they fit me. So sizes are fucking stupid, but I was still really happy to fit into a size small or extra small, regardless. And so I'm quite excited to get home and put those snippets here. There was a couple of other things I liked and I took pictures of, but I didn't buy them because. They were just too short to wear, like, ever. And so it was just a waste of money, so I didn't get them. And I guess that's about it. As far as I know, I got a video of the inside, and I hope that it was able to show. Oh, there's a bassinet I forgot to look at, and the baby stuff I forgot to look at, because I took too long trying on clothes, but, uh, Hopefully you guys can still see pretty much the inside, and I know a lot of you will be like, oh my god, I wish I was there. Uh, it is pretty cool to go to. It's like one of my favorite stories here, and 